Hello and welcome to Leeds Hatch News. I'm George Webber. And I'm Sharj Tana. Here are today's top stories. Leeds United has been named the third worst football club in the country for hooliganism. Black Friday's back, but with stressed shop workers and crowded stores, is it worth going into the red? Leeds United are the third worst football club across all the leagues in the UK for violent behaviour by fans. A government study released this week highlighted the club's continuing issue with unacceptable conduct in and around Ellen Road. Tom Lockie has more from the ground. According to a government report, 64 Leeds United fans were arrested last season. This is nearly two per game. Most of the arrests were for indecent chanting, abusive behaviour and missile throwing. The club has a history of violence, as most notably in the 80s, fans would often clash. So there's very little violence inside the ground itself. Obviously, um, obviously not able to contain it outside. The ground. Going back to the early 70s, and certainly the mid because Leeds were, had a reputation, wherever they went, they, they attracted people who, to be honest with you, had very little took with football at all. And um, I, I've seen some violent scenes in the past. Yeah, normally it's at the away games. I think you find that. Um, yeah, I mean, it, I think usually it's just down to drunk, drunk behaviour, getting a bit rowdy, that sort of stuff. Although progress has been made, it is clear that there is still a problem with violence and more needs to be done to control it. I'm Tom Lockie for Leeds Hacks News. Black Friday is upon us once again, offering the public a range of discounts with modern technology, making shopping a more pleasurable experience. Is this affecting the amount of footfall in stores? Lawrence Brayson has the full story. Black Friday is an event where retailers offer large discounts for customers. However, as technology continues to develop at a fast rate, online shopping has become more convenient for catching the best deals at your fingertips. Despite popularity with online sales during Black Friday, retailers still believe in-store sales are vital to making profit. The amount of footfall that it brings in store, it's not just you know, um, about necessarily getting rid of the stock, that is one thing, and bringing in the money, but it also brings in a lot of uh, customers brings you know customer loyalty as well they like to see that we give a good discount um, and then they'll continue to come and shop with us although sales managers feel passionately towards in-store Black Friday sales the public express their take on it I prefer online to be honest because you've got more variety of products rather than going in shops there'll be like a lot of customers there so it kind of like puts your customers online shopping because I feel like it's too busy to shop online because in store for me is just too crazy on Black Friday. This is Lawrence Brayson reporting from Leeds Tax News. After the extensive campaigning by Leeds Council for the 2023 Capital of Culture bid, the European Commission has decided not to allow Leeds the rights due to the outcome of Brexit. We took to the streets of Leeds to find out the reaction. I've lived in Leeds all my life, I am from Leeds, but we're, I know we're an up and coming city, um, but as, as the capital of culture, I, I don't know. I don't know whether we should be out now. I do. I think it's a great shame. Um, I think Leeds has a lot to offer in terms of culture, and uh, yeah, it's, it's a great loss for the city. It's a bit sad, really, isn't it? It shouldn't really make any difference whether we're a part of the European, um, part of Europe, to whether or not we should have a cultural bid or not. It should be about Britain and, and how great all, each of our different cities are. Um, so it's a little bit sad, really, that we can't appeal against it. And now for Leeds Hacks News in brief. The police say the death of a student in their Leeds University flat is not being treated as suspicious. The 21-year-old student has not been officially named. A 100,000 square foot renovation is coming to Kirkgate. It will include 80 new apartments and a public space. The project will bring together modern elements and historic architecture. The Magic Lantern Festival starts tonight in Round Hay Park. A host of lantern themed displays will light up the area bringing a festive feel. Tickets for the event start at £11. How many cups of coffee do you drink every day? You'll be glad to hear the drink is better for our health than previously thought. A report has revealed a regular intake can prevent an early death and higher consumptions can also cut the risk of cancer by up to 18%. Becky Rogers finds out what's brewing in Leeds. 55 million cups of coffee are drunk every day in the UK. Many people assume they should be giving up their daily cuppa, but new research suggests they needn't bother. Though some may jump at the chance to get their caffeine fix and improve their health, coffee shop owners aren't sure this is what will keep customers returning. I think 
Our regulars come in mostly either just for their morning cup of coffee or a lot of people come in because um, they enjoy it and like to uh, taste different coffees. I don't think people will drink more coffee because of the study because there's so many studies about food that will be good for you one day and then bad for you the next day. A lot of people that come in can only really have one cup of coffee a day anyway and they say that that's too much caffeine for them. So. But we're still learning a lot about coffee, like the flavour compounds, there's hundreds and we're still discovering them and like learning about what these different compounds taste like and what they do to the body. So I'm sure in a few years we'll find out a load more. A report published this week in the British Medical Journal says that three to four cups of coffee a day can do more good than harm. Just one of these cups can help prevent Parkinson's disease, depression and an early death. So many stories overwhelm the public about the health benefits of our favourite things, but do people really listen to them? This is what the people of Leeds had to say. If I drink caffeinated coffee, I get this, it makes me shake, I feel really anxious, you know, so yeah, for me it's not particularly healthy. It doesn't affect me, my health or anything, because like, it has no effect on me. I can just drink it like middle of the night and just go to sleep next after that, yeah. <laughs> you just got to make up your own mind. If you like drinking something, drink it. If you like eating something, eat it. It's, it's just that's it for me, really. Life's too short. Yeah, if you enjoy something, just take it. The study suggests there are near to no drawbacks with coffee, but also warns drinkers shouldn't indulge themselves to prevent disease and enjoy the drink as part of a healthy diet. This is Becky Rogers reporting for Leeds Hacks News. A colony of 17 humble penguins would have waddled their way into Leeds. Lovett and Wildlife World's first phase has undergone a £1.2 million redevelopment. The friendly creatures have been homed in the coastal zone which features a penguin pool where visitors can enjoy watching them splash about. According to the International Union for the Conservation of Nature, the Humboldt penguins are vulnerable species, so it's important that their surroundings resemble their homeland. The area features natural surfaces and the pool will allow them to behave as they would in the wild. This goes hand in hand with the council scheme to conserve endangered animals. It's a breeding programme, so there's 17 mixed sex, male and female. They're going to be hopefully pairing up together and forming the breeding programme for penguins at Lothen and obviously for interactive and the attraction for the public. Yeah. Yeah, it, I mean, it serves all their needs and it serves in, uh, the purpose for the public. It's interactive with the viewing windows and the, we've got a bubble over there where, you know, the ones you step into and you can watch them feed in. And they've got the, the housing over there. If later you want to see that, that's where they'll be breeding, hopefully. Well, I mean, these guys are just on the very start of the the scale of so they're listed as vulnerable aren't yeah. they but obviously you use this attraction as a means to raise people's awareness so we've got some signage that's easily viewable for coastal and sea habitat loss so we just use um, the penguins as a means to raise people's awareness for not just penguins but all sea and coastal life and now on to the weather Things are looking sunny today with a bout of winter sunshine expected to last the whole day. But don't let the sunshine fool you, there will be nighttime lows of 3 degrees. Into the weekend you can expect sunshine throughout, but the temperatures will remain low. Why not use today's sales to stock up on some woolly winter clothes? It looks like the heating will definitely be on this weekend. This is Charlotte Tana. And I'm George Webber. Have a good evening. Good night. <laughs>